Well, hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Lunacraft here, and this is actually going to be a special episode for you, Emmy. Uh, I told your mom that I'd build you something special, and I did. I did finish it, and it took me a while, but uh, I'll show you at the end of the episode. But you got to watch the whole episode, because this is all the crazy cool stuff that I've built so far. So, this is a server that I actually logged on to. Um, one of my uh, old co-workers um, ended up getting me into the server. So, basically, I kind of have a little bit of a fort. You can see, whoa, I guess it won't show me. On the top right, you can kind of see the mini-map where I'm at. It looks kind of like a castle. Uh, but anyway, so here's kind of a little bit of an archway. Uh, this is the intro. This is... Mad Money Mickey, and that's Ballet Bob. Yeah, I got really bored one day. And this is Mrs. Milky Moo, so that I can make unlimited amounts of cake. Um, as you can see, I kind of have a little bit of some pumpkins, some cacti. Uh, I got an AFK box, which was just me putting it in there. I have an automatic weed farm right there, and this second layer, you can kind of see where the water is right up there. I'll show you that one in a moment. That's a giant statue of Link, but I'll show you. And just, yeah, again, in a moment. So here's a little bit of a walkway. Um, this is my storage. Kind of went with an old idea that I did where it kind of covers back up a little bit. And you can see, you know, it labels it quite nicely. And uh, it's just a lot of dirt. Actually, I normally have it, like, all the way over here, but I've been using a lot of it because... I'm not very good with creepers on this server. <laughs> Just say them and I do not get along too well. So this is my random block of storage. I don't know why I have it here, but I thought it was really cool when I first built it because I, I was, it was, this was basically a gigantic hill, and I completely carved it out. In fact, there was a staircase that went down here, flat place, and a staircase down here, and I thought that was kind of a neat little thing there. Um, but as you can see, I kind of changed it up a little bit. But uh, I'll figure something out. It's, it's, it's going to be there for looks. It has no purpose. So here's my actual room. These are green because there's actually a texture pack that's special for the server. It's kind of neat. Um, in fact, let me show you real quick. So here it is. Here's the texture pack. I usually do play it, but uh, for what I was building for you, Emmy, uh, it, it made it a lot easier with um, gathering the materials and looking at it and everything if I was on the normal texture pack. But Here's actually the texture pack that we use on the server. As you can see, I kind of have these little lamp things, which are kind of neat. Uh, my TV, I kind of like this one. It's someone who's mining with lava underneath and a creeper. It's like, good luck. <laughs> it's my little computer desk. Mm, it's pretty nice. My bed. And, oh, look, it's the pumpkins. So, anyways, the actual thing that I had built, Emmy, is over that direction. And so I'll be looking down quite a lot as I'm heading towards that, or as, as I'm facing it. So um, this right here I thought was kind of cool. Uh, it's nothing really fancy, but before it was just this wooden kind of thing right along here. And it was very open, kind of got rid of that castle-like look, which I'm not trying to create the castle, but I'm trying to hint that idea and look. So I put that in, I thought kind of walled it up and still kept it spatial at the same time. There's my helix thing that I need to improve it. It's okay. Here's that walkway. Kind of thought it was neat. So I'm going to be looking down. And this is my gazebo. Let me turn around. And actually, I thought this was kind of neat. This Mrs. Milky Moo is underneath there. So it's a gigantic room that leads into a gazebo. That also leads into a gigantic tower. So I thought that was a, just a full rendition of one pillar. It could be so many different things. I thought it was kind of cool. Now I'll show you the the tower a little bit afterwards. No, let me go ahead and do it now. So basically, yeah, you can't really do anything here. It's a gazebo. But yeah, I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so I've got this. This is my sugarcane thing. Uh, it's kind of neat. It's nothing really fancy. I got birch wood right behind there to add a nice little background finish to the sugarcane. But... Uh, Here's the exit. This is out of my entire thing. This is my gardens. This is for my cocoa beans. I like the cocoa beans. Um, in fact, just for... Ooh, what is this? That's not my skin. 
for some reason, Minecraft has been very glitchy in putting my skin, or other people's skin on my character. But check out how many cookies I've got. Oh, I've got plenty of those. Alrighty. So here we are back at the top right here by the gazebo. It's the uh, the great gazebo of the great Ma or gazebo of the great mackerel. I don't know why I named it that way. This right here is pretty neat. This is my actual main room. This is where I do just about everything. I do my smelting. I got a little kitchen here that's completely empty. Let's fix that. Put some rotten flesh in there. Yay! It's my fridge. Here's my cupboard. Yay! I got some bread. Here's my alchemy. Yeah, I don't have anything. Um. Ah, link. So this is kind of my minor storage and things like that. This right here is this is cool. This is very good for servers. Um, where you, you place this, and I could put this one down somewhere else, and they're connected. They share the exact same inventory. So I put this in here, and then I go over where I place this one, and that's in there. It's really cool. But anyway, so here's my little counters and everything like that. I thought it was kind of fun. So, to the tower, Rapunzel. Okay, so here's the tower. So climbing up, the terrific, or the tower of terrific and tenacious time of time. Lunacraft approves this message. Um, the tower. So here it is. It's very basic, but it's very spatial at the same time. Is it the moon that was over there? I don't know. Couldn't see. Anyways, so next level. It's also very spatial. And there's, you can see other people's stuff, actually. There's someone's hot air balloon. Um, that's Mushroom Island. That's some... Um, I'm not sure what she's building. She built some really cool stuff. And that's my crazy symbol that I build everywhere. Oh, we got some creepers and zombies. She just built that. That's a pretty cool little house, too. Um, the place over to my left at the edge of my screen, the two pumpkins, that's my mining place of mine. A lot of cobblestone there. Um, it's very, very difficult playing, trying to keep my back against that, uh, <laughs> what I built you. So here's the final little area. It's very open, but it's very wicked awesome. So, there's someone's place. They're basically, their house is made of a, they try to make their house area as a bunch of little villages. I'm also going to show you, well, first I'm going to show you this, and then how in the world did that chicken get up there? ADD kicked in. Anyways, so I'm going to show you right up here. It's the top of my fort. It's very easy. You go up this little pathway to the top of that. That's going to be probably for the Zeppelin mod where you can create airships. It might be my airstrip. I don't know. But anyways, you go up here, just around here, and you end up right on top. Or you can just um, right from that walkway from underneath there to the tower. There's that tiny little thing. We'll take that one. And then I want to show you this. This is the cool thing. It's very, very cool. Anyways, so uh, let's go ahead and cut to there. Alrighty, you may notice that my health is a little bit lower than it was before. It's because I just jumped. So here it is, the top of this one. It's pretty fun. I mean, it's it's kind of like a castle. That's just the idea of what I tried to go with. Um, but here we go. Here's the walkway into the town. Are you ready for this? Alright, here we go. There is one note that's a little bit off. But that's because the no blocks can't go as low as I want. But... Uh, it's just one tiny hint off. So, here we go. So, there we go. It's the theme for Mario. <laughs> I got uh, I got bored one day and I was like, I gotta make the theme for Mario. Oh, that's my little walkway down there. Um, it's very simple. So the next place you can see, uh, and it's just to the left, I'll show you in a minute, but here's my big cocoa bean farm, my chicken farm, and my sheep. I I use a lot of sheep, but um, yeah, so just up the hill there, there's my little fort and everything. Uh, this right here is actually someone else's place that uh, was here before I moved here, but he doesn't use it very much, so I kind of took over. Uh, here's my second little sheep farm, and there we go. I'll show you, actually. Link. So along the way, I also realized that uh, I thought it would be a funny story. With my working with lots of sheep, there happened to be a creeper that spawned in my sheep farm. And don't look mad at me. Anyways, and he kind of blew up 
half, actually almost all my sheep and um, my gate, and there's some escapees out and about. But that's okay. We got what we needed. So, here is Link. It's really, really cool. Very, very difficult to show you the right angle. <laughs> and if we go up here, there's actually a little bit of a surprise as well. Some more note blocks. And this is uh, part of the, uh, Link's one of Link's um, songs for when you're exploring on Hyrule Castle. So that's that one. And there's a little bit of a homage as well for old classic Link players who played Link to the Past where you could jump down that hole right by Kakariko Village and... Yeah. Okay, there you go. Anyways, are you ready, Emmy, for the big surprise? Here we go! Oh, that was strange. I'm over right at the foot of it. Okay, here we are. Are you ready? Are you re okay, no, not ready yet. Um, all right, all right, let's go. Let's go. Right, are you sure you're ready? Okay, all right, we can. Uh, are, are you sure? Okay, all right, here we go. This is Jack Skellington, which is dedicated to you. It is a full, big thing of pixel art of Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. Someone else had already done this one. I ended up just doing a as much of a copy as I could to make it as perfect. But uh, it ended up taking me a good 15 to 20 hours to do this one because the picture that I was looking at was very blurred and it's it was more difficult than normal. But anyway, so I hope you enjoy this one uh, or enjoyed this video, and uh, I'm glad to hear that you enjoy my other videos. If you want me to build something, let me know. I'll build something that's cool. Alright, this is InnoCraft, and I'm out. Y'all have a good one. Okay, and one little fun thing that uh, I definitely want to share with you, uh, just to show you how tall this thing is. Now, when I was building this, whenever I ran out of the wool, had to go back down to my little sheep bees that uh, are so far down that you can't even see anymore. You see, this is pretty tall. Even on normal rendering distance, the, the, you don't get a full distance. There's a lot of fog. Um, but when I had to fall, I fell right into, you can see, those are actually four pumpkins hidden in the water, which is two blocks deep, which is enough to survive, <laughs> which is kind of scary. Uh, but I always got vertigo, which I never get vertigo in a game, in any game. But um, yeah, this entire th structure is 77 blocks tall, so here we go. Vertigo time! Alright, there we go. I just definitely want to share that with you. <laughs>